Hey there folks, welcome to the Main Man Channel. How's everyone doing? You're watching the Main Man Channel, it's not just a name, it's a way of life. I do this kind of stuff every day. Might as well film it and share it with y'all. All right, anyways. So, I still got some journal books set up down ranch. And I still got my Mossberg 500 Model A. Five plus one capacity, pump action, shotgun. Now, recently we did a penetration test video, a journal penetration test video with slugs. Well, today I thought I might do something else. What if we shoot those journal books with some good old fashioned double lock buckshot okay it says 12 gauge two and three quarter double lock buckshot nine pellet federal of course well muzzle velocity 1325 feet per second okay so that being said i've always thought a buckshot is pretty cool especially double lock so you look at it like this that's what that one looks like but i think a buckshot in these terms I think nine pellet, I think of nine, 357 Magnum bullets getting shot at me at the same time, or getting shot at something at the same time. That's when I think, what I think of a double lock buckshot with 12 gauge, okay? Now, obviously they're not gonna penetrate like a 357 Magnum because of the fact that uh, they are actually round, big ass BBs. So, that being said, you know, they're not, like I say, they're not going to have that penetration, but still it's scary. It's still really kind of got the knockdown power of nine 357 Magnums coming at you at once. You ain't going to block it. Well, and even if you got body armor on, if that stuff hits you in the chest, whew. and I guess that's why they call it buckshot, guys, because it'll put a deer down. It'll plat, put, out, put down a buck. That's why they call it bug shot. So anyway, what we're going to do is, we're going to do like, just like on all the other journal book tests. If you don't know what a journal book penetration test is, check out the link in the description. It will be there. Okay. We're going to shoot those journal books. I'm going to be lying prone at the seven yard position, and I'm going to fire into those journal books with a double lock buck shot with the 12 gauge. And y'all are going to be on that stand over there witnessing it while I do it. And then we're going to see what kind of actual real life results we got from shooting those journal books. But let's get it started. Okay, folks, here we go. We're hot. We're ready to go. I'm going to get this done. Hopefully I don't tear up my journal book jig too much doing this. If it kills that old wooden stake, I'm not really worried about it. So... That being said, here we go. Well, we got a good hit. It didn't get that much of a spread, but it was a good hit. It's only about seven yards away. So, that being said, we still shot a little bit lower than I wanted to. Should have aimed a little bit higher. But let's see what the results are. Because that's what we do. We are redneck engineers and scientists, ain't we? Okay. So, anyway, I'm going to remove the stake. What's left of it? All right. You know I can't show you in front of these books. So I'm gonna set this up where they won't fall over, and we're gonna go one book at a time through here. So here's book one. Well, that's got the wad in it. <laughs> He'll definitely go back to the table with us. 
here's book two stuck pretty good to book three all right still got damage book four still got a little bit of damage okay and we know we got some damage on the ground because i'm gonna say about six of the pellets went through the ground and only about three actually connected with well actually they probably all connected but then a lot of them veered off through the ground so we're just going to take book one two and three back to the table and look at them book four got a pretty good den in it but no real damage all right let's go look at the result okay folks so we're going to see what we got here we got that wad stuck in book one <laughs> So there's the wadding stuck in book one. And there's a definite, definite uh, penetration right there in itself by one of the pellets. And we know some went through here. And this dent up here is a little bit weird. So maybe one of the pellets kind of hit here and stopped. I'm thinking it did because it's pellet size. All right, so let's just start turning through this thing and seeing what it looks like. All right, I don't see nothing in there. Now, they, there is some pieces of lead and pieces of journal book throughout this thing. But I'm seeing, like I say, at least three or four pellets penetrated plumb through book number one. All right, so we're going to throw book number one out of the way. We're going to look at book number two. Looks like some of the pellets veered off, like I said. But we know we got one or two, maybe three, still going right here, or I would think. And we still got damage, and there is quite a bit of lead, guys, through here. And, all right, so, it looks like at this point right here, there are some pieces of pellet right there. There are some pieces of lead pellet. So, some of them stopped right here. There's a lot of pieces of that journal book in there, but I mean, I'm seeing the lead. So a lot of them stopped right in this area here in book number two. Still got some stuff going. Looks like, okay, right here, we're going to catch probably, there's a lot of lead right there built up, but we caught one of the pellets for sure. That's one of the pellets deformed. Maybe two of them together. I'd, no, I'd say it's just the one. They formed really good. And there's big old chunks of it. It's continuing up to right here. Okay. And don't see any more there. I mean, I do see some small fragments, but that could just be the cover. All right, now, when we get to right here, the cover of book three, there's something in there. So when we open up book three, looks like we caught another one of the pellets. So, one or two, probably just one, of the pellets made it all the way through the cover of book three. And that one is, guys, you won't believe me, but that one actually is hot. It actually, I feel the warmth on my finger, even after all that time. I mean, that's something else. So, that's pretty crazy. All right, so that being said, we're going to take and uh, look and see how far that damage of that pellet went. I think it went all the way to the back because it cut pages all the way to the back. So that one, dam that one pellet did damage all the way to the back, guys. Yep, sure did. So it's safe to say that at least one of your pellets from double lot butt is going to make it to the back well at least damage from it is going to make it through to the back cover and it's actually going to get stopped in the front cover of book three i figured we might get the book four or five range with double lot but we didn't i guess that may be due to the round bb pellets and all that good stuff but uh still some interesting results Okay, folks, well, there you have it. That wraps up another edition of the Main Man Channel. 
We had our Mossberg 500A. Six plus one capacity. Pump act, I mean five plus one capacity pump action shotgun. We had our Federal 12 gauge, two and three quarter, double lot, buckshot, nine pellet, muzzle velocity of 1325. And we got two, three journal books in the journal book penetration test. It may even be worth one day me making sure I shoot a little bit higher with both of them and doing another one again. Don't want to waste all my journal books though. So, because I still got a lot more calibers that I would like to test. But I, again, I want to thank y'all for watching the Main Man channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. The links to all the big playlist of the journal book penetration test will be in the description. The link to all the videos with the Mossberg 500A will be in the description as well. You should check those out. There'll be more to come with that gun there. My daddy bought me that shotgun and I love it. All right, anyways. So, thanks for watching. Please check out all my favorite gun channels. Please check out the Hootie Hoot channel. And please check out Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. And please check out the Pat the Real Man of Genius channel. They got some really good channels. And also, please check out Joe over at Shoot, Ride, Live. The reason I want to call him out today is dude got monetized yesterday. And I thought they wasn't monetizing any more gun channels. But they monetized it. So, congratulations to him. And I wish him luck and success. I'll catch y'all next time.